All right, the next question comes from a viewer named David. He says, for the 4% withdrawal rate devised by Bill Bingen, and that uh, Bill, Bill Bingen, who's been on the show, he wrote a 1994 paper that gave us what we now call the 4% rule. He says, what measure of inflation did he use? And are there other measures that you think might be more appropriate? So great question, David. So if you read his 1994 paper, he used CPI. He used the the, the, the main inflation number that the U.S. government, when it's not a, a shut down anyway, <laughs> gives us every month, uh, he used uh, uh, that number. I think, you know, for a, a, a model of a way to think about retirement spending, I think the CPI number is perfectly reasonable, and I can't come up with a different number that I think is better. However, I do think when it comes to actually modeling and thinking about your retirement plan, the big question really isn't inflation, at least not directly. The big question is, how much money will you be spending over the course of your retirement? Now, inflation will, of course, affect that. Will your spending go up exactly by CPI? No, of course it won't. It's going to depend in part on where you live, how you spend your, your money. You may have some expenses, by the way, that aren't affected by inflation at all. Maybe you have a car loan. It's a fixed loan most of the time, I think. Yeah, your, your payments aren't going to go up. Or maybe you still have a mortgage. And, and at least the principal and interest, assuming you have a fixed rate mortgage, it's not adjusted by inflation. So you might have some spending that isn't adjusted by inflation uh, at all. Also, you may be controlling your spending. You may spend more or less in a given year. And in fact, studies show that as we age through retirement, we tend to spend less, even accounting for increases in medical expenses. There's been a, a, a sort of a, a phrase that's been used, your 65 to 75 are your go-go years, 75 to 85 are your slow-go years, and 85 to 95, if we make it that, that far, are your no-go years. Now, of course, it's gonna depend personally on your health, and it's gonna be an individual kind of thing, but it's really your actual spending through retirement that I think is the most important, not a necessarily an inflation percentage, but we all know that does drive, in, 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 at least in part, how much we're spending from year to year, particularly for our necessities, food, you know, shelter, you know, things like insurance, real estate taxes, utilities, and that sort of thing. And so inflation is, of course, an important factor for all of us, I personally think CPI is as good a number as any uh, to use, at least for that part of the analysis.